Good morning again. This is Dr. Bill White, and I'm on a, I'm with the American Orthodontic Society, and, uh, and I'm going to try to do some uh, a series of several surgical cases that we did orthodontically and worked with uh, different surgeons, you know, and you can do that. You just have to prove to them that you can do the orthodontics. That's all the surgeon wants you to uh, wants to know that somebody can really do the orthodontics. Well, condylar hypoplasia is a difficult, difficult thing to deal with where the side of the face grows on one side. Now, a lot of people have a little bit of this, like people that shift their jaw to one side, they'll have a little bit and uh, that doesn't bother people too much. And, uh, but where it just really gets over, way over on that side, it, it is, it's, it's really messes up the, the person's appearance and it's tough to deal with. So anyway, just uh, watch this. We, I don't think I finished it, uh, show it at the very finish, but here we'll, uh, take off on this condylar hypoplasia. Uh, now this young lady from one side doesn't look too bad, you know, she's got a little excess vertical height of the face and the upper teeth are sticking out here and the lower teeth are in here. She's got a, a frog down over yet something like this and it, uh, it's doesn't look good. If you look at her from the front now, this side will be way down here and the other side won't be. So uh, it, it messes up the appearance. Now here it is. You see the chin is moved over to this side right here. See it? It should come right down something like that. Uh, but this right side of the mouth is outgrowing the left side of the mouth. And a uh, pretty young lady, you know, if we could just uh, get these sides about the same and get it in there. But it, I, I did the best I could, and the surgeon did the best he could, and and uh, we didn't we didn't do very good. I'll put say it that way. And when she smiled, you see the teeth are. It's a real big angle, and it gets a little worse, seems like. And we didn't start it until we felt like she was uh, pretty well mature, because if you went in real early, I mean, it, it it's just continued to grow. Genetically, this side just keeps growing, and this side it doesn't. And that's, uh, it looks bad. I went through dental school with a, a man who uh, had been kicked in the jaw with a mule or something, he said, and it crushed this jaw up here, and the other side of his mouth grew kind of like this, and he was kind of had a lopsided uh, jaw, and the people in school looked at it, and they, the old surgery department really wanted to operate on it, but they didn't know what to do, and so they never did. And <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe by this time, I've been out of school a long time now that they've come up with something that's better that can do the condylar hypoplasia cases. Uh, and you look at it here, it really looks lopsided, you see. This, this is going over this way. Uh, I don't, uh, I've tried, I've got another case that we tried everything in the world we could to get it to uh, look better and it didn't do any good so they went in and operated and stopped this side from growing. The problem you don't know what to do over here to s you can't just slow it down like you step on the brakes or something uh, it might mess it up and then uh, this side might get bigger than that one when they're growing up so you don't really quite what to do in there or at least we didn't uh, now here is the way it looked this was 1990 
and uh, that's not a good picture there, but it gives you some idea. And we're going to look at it straight across here in a minute. And uh, that's back in 1990. And uh, the surgeon, uh, I told him about it, and we just watched it. He came over and checked her, had her come to his office or something like this. And he got impressions and mounted the case. And you can see how it's setting off like that. And uh, you can get outside and look at it a little better from a mounted situation. Uh, you've got a, quite a bit of over jet. You see these teeth out like that. That's a pretty big class 2 problem. And this molar that's right here really should be out like this. You know, it should be further out here. And then these spaces up here would make it, it would come out right if you lined it up. And the shape of the jaw is not properly done the tongue can't really perform uh, its pressure pushing out on the jaw uh, in situations like this so the shape of the jaw is kind of round kind of straightened out it needs to be rounder you see and the lower teeth come out to here somewhere and uh, this the shape of the jaw is not good the tongue is not able to press these teeth out and make it uh, form a shape like the left tongue, and the lower jaw is not formed uh, properly either. And the one on the right side over here is growing a lot more, you can't tell it, but this side is a lot lower than this one over here. This one is the one that's growing more. I think that's the right side. Uh, okay. And here she goes, and we finally got to an age where the surgeon could work on it. And uh, he operated on it, and honest to God, it didn't look a whole lot better after we got through. I did some more work after I could pull the teeth together with that. But this was uh, really messed up. Now, this is 94. Now I came in and did the orthodontics. After that, she's had the surgery. See, now I'll come in and line these teeth up and make it look as good as I possibly can. But still, one side is a lot lower than the other side. So I don't show the finishing part of this. I'm sorry, but this is about the end of what we had. So I'm going to round these out and pull them together and see if I can drop it down. This is 94, and this is where we end up. Uh, with our pictures here, but I did work on it, but honest to God, I don't think we uh, really got what I wanted to out of this case. Uh, this is the process prior to surgery, and uh, after the surgery, we got that side down from that high to this high, but that didn't really satisfy thing and we take the braces off and uh, but I worked on it and got the teeth together and closed the space but I tell you if you have one of these uh, chondrolipoplasia chondrolipoplasia cases uh, there are not very many thank God so they're difficult to finish and to get them to look decent. So I hope you get something out of this. And I'm going to say goodbye and I'll close this up. And thanks for watching it.